Well, here's what happened in politics today. The Conservatives are responding to today's national summit on combating auto theft, prompting this back and forth in question period. Under Conservatives, car theft's down by 50%. Under Liberals, car theft's up by 34%. And now he's being told at his fancy summit that his policies are the problem. Celeste Power of the Insurance Bureau said car thefts are up because, quote, profits are high and penalties are light. So when will the Prime Minister abandon their soft on crime approach so car thefts can come down? Today we had the auto summit where we brought in leaders across the country, including police. Mr. Speaker, we are working on tangible solutions, not just slogans from the Conservatives. The federal government and the Council of the Haida Nation say they have reached a key milestone, having jointly developed Bill S-16, which was tabled earlier today. Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Gary Anandasangari says the legislation recognizes the Haida Nation's inherent right to governance and self-determination. This is long overdue and represents a step towards a better future and a strong, lasting nation-to-nation -nation relationship. This is another step in our journey towards the implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of, of Indigenous Peoples and our path towards reconciliation. Pierre Poliev is promising First Nations greater control of their resources and money if and when he becomes Prime Minister. The party announced its support for a First Nations resource charge, which was developed by the First Nations Tax Commission and then adopted by the Conservative Party. This is a historic change in how First Nations governments fund their operations by allowing them to collect directly the revenues from resource projects that happen on their lands and having the federal government seed tax room for them to do it. The Canadian Home Builders Association has released a strategy to build 5.8 million homes in the next decade. It comes as Canada faces a massive housing shortage and affordability crisis. Among other changes, the association wants to see 30-year amortization periods for first-time buyers on newly constructed homes. This will enable well-qualified buyers who are currently locked out of the market to become homeowners and do so without creating undue demand in a supply-constrained market, since only new homes would be eligible for the longer amortization periods, thereby creating and incenting more housing supply. And finally, the U.S. Supreme Court heard former President Donald Trump's appeal of a Colorado ruling. That ruling says Trump was ineligible to be on the state's Republican primary ballot because he violated the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment by participating in an insurrection. This during the January 6th Capitol attack. But Donald Trump disagrees. It's unfortunate that we have to go through a thing like that. I consider it to be more election interference by the Democrats as to what they're doing.